5 Worst Prisons in Florida Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the dark side of the Florida justice system and exploring the top worst prisons in the state. From inadequate facilities, gang violence, and excessive force from guards, these prisons have earned a notorious reputation for being the most unbearable places to serve time. We'll be uncovering the stories behind the walls and shining a light on the ongoing problems faced by inmates in these institutions. So sit back, relax, and get ready to discover the top worst prisons in Florida. At number five, we have Santa Rosa Correctional Institution. Florida Prison Stories, we're back at it, and we're gonna take a little trip to Santa Rosa, Florida. Granted, I've never been to Santa Rosa, but I know plenty of people who have. Now, when I was in prison, Santa Rosa was notorious for its CM program, CM meaning controlled management. Now, there are three different levels to CM, CM 1, 2, and 3, each with varying levels of restrictions. So if you ever wonder what happens if you fuck up too many times within the Florida Department of Corrections, look no further, this is your answer. You see, this is where Santa Rosa is, and this is where the majority of people in Florida prisons come from. So you're already in a lose-lose situation if you already landed at this place because you're the better part of a day away from your family, and on top of it all, the guards absolutely suck there. And notoriously, they turn the heaters on during the Florida summers and put a lot of restrictions on you as far as blankets and jackets during the winter. But the worst story that I ever heard was of one guard who smeared cow shit all over this guy's window and he had to breathe that shit in 24-7 for God knows how long. We're discussing one of the most notorious prisons in Florida the Santa Rosa Correctional Institution. With a capacity of 1,614 inmates, this prison has become notorious for its high levels of gang violence and racial tensions. Over the years, the gang violence in this prison has only gotten worse, and the situation has been compounded by incidents of violent behavior from correctional officers. There have been numerous reports of murders between different ethnic groups within the prison and a constant state of conflict between officers and gang members. It's clear that the situation at the Santa Rosa Correctional Institution is a major cause for concern. The high levels of violence and racial tensions can create a dangerous and unstable environment for both the inmates and the staff. It's important for authorities to take action to address these issues and make the necessary changes to improve conditions within the prison. By creating a safer and more stable environment, we can help to reduce the violence and racial tensions that have become so prevalent in the Santa Rosa Correctional Institution. At number four, we have Columbia Correctional Institution. We spoke with an inmate today who describes what was going on from inside the prison walls. Hey, I know they told you guys we was getting hot meals. It took at least a week before we even got a hot meal. That was only Monday through Friday. And we was asking them, like, what's up with the weekend? They said, well, no hot meals on the weekend. And it was hard to get this information out because we couldn't call home. We were scared to write because they opened up our mail before it goes out. Even now, speaking out, I'm putting myself at risk. Being cut off from the world like that, that has never happened. In my 19 years in prison, I have never spent that much time without access to a fine or a visit. Now, the DOC did respond to that statement. At number four, we discussed the Santa Rosa Correctional Institution, one of the worst prisons in Florida. This prison, located just outside of Lake City in northern Florida, opened its doors in 1992 and is designed to hold over 1,427 inmates. Inmates have frequently complained about the inadequate facilities, lack of cleanliness and maintenance, and other hygiene issues within the prison. This has led to an unpleasant and potentially unhealthy environment for those who are incarcerated. Additionally, there have been reports of deaths within the prison which many believe are linked to gang violence or drug overdoses. Smuggling of drugs into the prison is a serious issue and highlights the need for increased safety measures and a more secure environment. It's important for authorities to regularly inspect prisons and address any issues promptly in order to ensure that they are safe and humane for those who are incarcerated. 
by working to improve the living conditions and security within the Santa Rosa Correctional Institution, we can help to create a better environment for the inmates and staff alike. That's number three. We have Dade Correctional Institution. As they search for this man who was in a workshare program because he was nearing the end of his sentence and he simply walked away. From the air, on the ground and by bloodhound. An intense search underway for an escaped inmate. 40-year-old Marv Hubert serving a 20-year sentence for burglary who walked away from a work program. Four corrections officers facing the other side of the law accused of beating to death 60-year-old inmate Ronald Ingram at the Dade Correctional Institution. Today, we're discussing another one of the worst prisons in Florida, the Dade Correctional Institution. Located just 40 miles south of central Miami, this prison was opened in 1996 and has been the center of controversy ever since. The Dade Correctional Institution has faced a number of serious issues, including excessive use of force by guards, prison fights, gang violence, and inadequate health facilities. This has led to an environment that is unsafe and potentially inhumane for both inmates and staff. In early 2022, four guards were charged with smuggling contraband into the prison and using excessive force which resulted in one death. This is a step in the right direction, but it is clear that much more needs to be done to address the ongoing problems within the Dade Correctional Institution. It's important for authorities to take swift and meaningful action to address the issues within the Dade Correctional Institution by working to improve the safety and living conditions for both inmates and staff we can help to create a better environment for all those who are affected by the prison. Number two, we have Martin Correctional Facility. Florida Prisons and we're back at it. We're going to Martin Correctional Institution, y'all. Now, when I was at Martin CI, it was kind of a love-hate relationship. You loved it and you hated it all at the same time. On the one hand, you'd love it because there's almost anything you want at Martin CI. With a few exceptions, the staff was pretty lenient too when it came down to it. Now, on the flip side of that equation, you probably hated it because the fact of the matter was we were always getting locked down because people were always getting stabbed left and right when I was there. Once the K2 and Spice was invented and introduced to that compound, shit went way downhill. There was also a protective management dorm on the compound, separated from everybody else, so whenever they had to move around the compound, they had to lock everybody else down to make sure that they wouldn't get attacked. It's also dirty as shit, but honestly, that's nothing new about Florida prisons. The Martin Correctional Institution was thrust into the spotlight in 2019 after a secret video of the conditions inside the prison was released online. The video was a shock to many, as it showed graphic scenes of violence, drug use, overdoses, and inadequate medical care for inmates. Despite promises of improvement from authorities, it's unclear if real change has been made. This highlights the importance of keeping a close eye on the conditions in our prisons and ensuring the safety and well-being of all those affected by the criminal justice system. At number one, we have Florida State Prison. When I first got to FSP, they put me in a room that was, had two doors. So they put you in there, they shut the first set. It's actually like a row of bars. They shut the bars, boom. Now, I remember they put me in there too, right? They put you in, they uncuffed me. They said, your ass will not be getting out of here because this one that they put me in had no windows. It's got two sets of doors, so they shut the bars, and then there's an outside door that's solid still. Basically, there's no getting out of there, period. You got no communication. <clears throat> You're not talking to other people. Built in 1913, the prison was originally known as Florida State Prison and has been known for its terrible reputation. The prison has its own prison farm, where inmates are made to work during their daily routine. While the inmates are paid for their work, many have reported instances of excessive force from guards and brutal treatment to get the work done. Some prisoners have even had to spend time on Seclave due to the beatings they've received. Despite authorities being aware of these issues, not much has changed. 
Ex-inmates continue to report instances of mistreatment and overpopulation, with some even alleging racist behavior from the guards towards black African Americans.